My name is Jonathan Weiss. I am the founder and CEO of Oswald's Mill Audio, which is known as OMA. And we're in our Dumbo Brooklyn showroom, surrounded by all of our products. We're really an outlier in the high-end audio world. We make everything from the signal source in terms of analog, that's record players, which we make out of solid slate. We make our own line of tube amplifiers, and we're the only company in the world that makes conical horn-loaded loudspeakers for high-end home use. We make everything so that we have total control over the sound. One of the first phases to our products is coring the slate. And this is a very special slate because it's, it's actually very soft, which from an acoustic standpoint is really desirable. It dissipates vibrations and resonances extremely well, much better than harder slate. So when they are quarrying the slate, then they'll literally use hand tools to cleave off sheets which break off and then are placed on a truck or taken with a gondola into the main fabrication part of the quarry where a huge diamond saw with water is used to cut these cleaved off irregular pieces of slate. The last stage is honing and putting a very fine edge or bevel so that it doesn't chip. We use cast metal in a lot of different products. All foundries, they have a furnace. The metal is put in solid form into this vat and it becomes molten, like just out of the movie Terminator. But it's poured into the sand mold. It goes in, hardens, the sand is busted away and you have a rough casting, which then goes through the various finishing processes. Then it has to be welded, edge treatment. After that, that's accomplished. Then it goes to be powder coated, where it literally is baked and cured like into the super hard, durable finish, much better than paint. All of our loudspeakers have steel stands or infrastructure, and all of those elements are powder coated. Yeah, the mill is, is, is essentially our laboratory. It's our reference listening space. It's where we can put elements new and old together, listen to them, evaluate them, and decide what direction we want to take with new products, new technologies. There are things that were never surpassed in terms of sound quality. The industry has moved in ways that are not about the ultimate sound quality, but about size, convenience, and cost. And none of this stuff is convenient small or cheap, but it does represent the best sound that's really ever been, been made. All of our loudspeakers are made out of Pennsylvania hardwoods. And these are all woods which Martin Guitar, which is the world's best acoustic guitar company, they're right across the valley. They use the same woods that, that we do, so I, I know that they're tonally great woods. At that point, it comes into our woodworking shop where it's cut down further into boards of varying thickness and width, which will be joined together to create loudspeaker enclosures, amplifier enclosures, horns, all using meticulous, hand-done joinery that allows the wood to expand and contract in your home. It's like a living thing. This is a very difficult, time-consuming, expensive process. We're the only company in the world that does this. Nobody else makes loudspeakers using solid wood joinery construction. Not today, not that I know ever. At a certain point, the parts 
come from the wood shop, metal working shop, powder coat. They come to our central facility where we do the final assembly. Most of our equipment, it's very big, and it's very big because it has to be. Sound waves can't be miniaturized. It's physics. That's very old school, it's not mass production. And the components that we use are simply the, the highest grade possible, the aerospace level stuff. The last phase is really our installation of the equipment in our clients' homes or wherever they're going. If you have an amazing system and you put Elvis on, it's frightening. It's like he's right there. What the system is doing is it's taking the energy that came out of Elvis, literally, sound waves are energy. So it's taking that energy and it's reproducing it so perfectly that you have this uncanny feeling that somebody's there that's been dead a long time. That's what amazing sound quality is.